Welcome back to another tech lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to clean and regrease your shock linkage. Now this should be done every 10 or 15 hours, somewhere around there. And um, when you buy a, a bike new, they don't really come with that much grease from the factory. So uh, I would do that within five hours. So um, just stay on top of it and your linkage will last for a while. All right, so we're just going to need basic hand tools, some grease, a brush for applying the grease, a uh, torque wrench and some rags. The first thing we're going to do is get the bike up on a stand and we're going to pull the linkage connecting arm off. So we just got to loosen up that front nut and pull the bolt out and do the same with the rear. Now to get the linkage connecting arm off, we're going to have to lift up on the rear of the bike, get the tension off of it, and pull the bolts out, and the arm should come right off. And then after that, we're going to pull the triangle piece off. So we got to pull the bottom shock bolt out and the bolt holding the piece onto the swing arm. But now that everything's off the bike, we're going to set it on a table and as you can see everything's kind of dirty and greasy and so we're going to go ahead and wipe all that off, just get the linkage clean. Alright, once everything's clean, we're going to go ahead and start with the linkage connecting arm. We're going to pull the caps off the end and the bushing out of the middle. And we're just going to wipe all the old grease and any dirt off of it, off the bearing or the bushing and the cap. Alright, after that we're going to try to get as much of the old grease and dirt out of the bearing as possible. you got to be careful with these bearings. They're not in a cage, so you don't want to knock them out and you'll have a mess trying to put them back together. And it helps to t just take a small screwdriver and get get under that lip of the seal and get uh, some of that old grease and dirt out of there. Now we're going to go ahead and use that brush, um, dip it in the grease and just start lightly putting uh, some new grease on the bearings. Again you got to be pretty careful here not to upset the bearings in there. And then we're going to do the same with the bushing and the caps. Just put some grease on those and put the bushing back in and put the caps on the end. And also apply some light grease to the bolt and the threads and you can put it back in and that piece is ready to go. So with the connecting arm done, we're going to move on to the triangle piece. And we're going to do the same process here. Pop the caps off, wipe off the bushing, and get all the old grease and dirt out of the bearing itself and apply some new grease. So it's the same process for all the other three bearings.
So with the bottom shock bearing, all you need to do is pop the uh, spacer off one end and the bushing out of the middle. And then I'm just going to stuff as much grease in there as you can. This bearing gets the most wear out of all of them. So you want to make sure there's plenty of grease in there. With all the cleaning and re-greasing done, we're going to go ahead and put the triangle piece back on the bike. First thing you got to do is put the lower shock bolt in, and then to get the other bolt in, you got to move the back of the bike around a little bit to get the holes lined up. And then we're going to go ahead and install the nuts, and we're going to torque them. The lower shock bolt has to be torqued with the linkage connecting arm off, because then uh, the arm will get in the way. So the torque spec on the lower shock bolt is 32 foot pounds. And while we got the torque wrench out, we can go ahead and torque the other bolt also. The torque spec on that is 39 foot pounds. So with the triangle piece on and torqued, we can go ahead and put the linkage connecting arm on. So we got to move the bike around a little bit, get the holes lined up for both the front and the rear and so to slide the bolts in put the nuts on and then we can go ahead and torque those also the torque spec on the rear connecting bolt is 39 foot pounds and the torque spec on the front bolt is 39 foot pounds also so once everything's all torqued you'll want to take the bike off the stand and just make sure everything works fine suspension works smoothly and it's not binding up at all and that's something I've always done is check the torque spec again while the bikes on the ground and uh, after that you should be all set you're all ready to go thanks for watching this installment of tech lesson if you want to watch the last video where I showed how to change a tire click this box right here I'll also be having a lot more of these videos coming out so stay tuned